my dear students welcome to easy btech your guide for btech and beyond we are discussing subject signal sense systems and today's topic inverse laplace transform very important session and all of you subscribe share the channel this channel is very helpful to you and let's start our session inverse laplace transform and before going to see inverse laplace transform problems let's have causality and stability what is causality when the system is causal when the system is stable using laplace transform we can say that so first we think about causality causal system with examples we can discuss so system is causal the system is causal it is causal if its impulse response means h of t is equal to 0 for t less than 0 for t less than 0 or we can say its roc its roc is its roc is right of right off of s plane its roc must be towards right off of s plane to the right side of s plane roc must be towards right off of s plane then this will become causal system to the right side of of s plane okay now let's see example consider h of t is equal to, this is the example e power minus t e of t this is the h of t okay now we know the system is causal or not so here we can see directly e of t is there h of t in h of t e power minus t of t e of t means e of t is 0 for t less than 0 therefore h of t also 0 for t less than 0 that we can say directly because of e of t because of e of t h of t is causal or given system is causal so like uh, we can say using this roc also so we can do laplace of this laplace transform of h of t is equal to h of s is equal to 1 by s plus 1 and what is roc real part of s is greater than minus 1 so it is right side or not real part of s is greater than minus 1 means if you plot the roc uh, real axis imaginary axis here whole minus 1 greater than minus 1 means right side of s plane right this is a greater than minus 1 so roc is right side a right side of s plane then the system will become causal this is the s plane right now another example another example h of t is equal to e power minus mod t e power minus mod t so this is a double exponential actually e power minus mod t mod t means plus t minus t when it is plus t t greater than 0 it is plus t and minus t t less than 0 it is minus t okay double sided exponential it is and its uh, laplace is its laplace it is a not causal it is not causal because it is double sided exponential means left side also h of t is existing double sided exponential 
here h of t is not equal to 0 for t less than 0. This is the reason it is not causal. Left side also h of t is existing. The same concept we can say using Laplace transform. So Laplace transform of h of t is equal to h of s is equal to e power minus mod t. Its Laplace transform is minus 2 by s square minus 1. s square minus 1 and ROC is minus 1 to plus 1. Minus 1 to plus 1. So the ROC is existing between minus 1 to plus 1. Right? Therefore, if you plot ROC, you can understand value. So here we have minus 1 and here we have plus 1. Less than plus 1, more than minus 1. So ROC is between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay. It's, com it's not completely right side, towards right side of S plane. It is existing between minus 1 and plus 1. So that is why this is not causal. Not causal system. Okay. Next, we can discuss stability of the system. Next point, stability of the system. Stability of the system. So how to say system is stable or not? So the definition is an LTI system is stable if its ROC includes G omega axis is stable if its ROC includes G omega axis or imaginary axis. G omega or imaginary axis. Okay, otherwise unstable. So let's discuss examples in this stability. So consider system function h of s system function h of s is equal to s minus 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 s minus 2 s plus 1 s minus 2 now the system is stable or not that we can judge with roc if roc includes j omega axis then stable otherwise not so first i am doing <coughs> roc cases so the case one before going to cases i will apply inverse laplace so that i can get the h of t so first i am going to write h of t so that is possible applying inverse laplace applying inverse Laplace transform. So for the total system function we cannot apply inverse Laplace transform. So we need to split it like uh, partial fractions apply inverse Laplace transform. So now we have to do partial fractions. So here we get two partial fractions A and another one is B. Okay. So we need to do A value. How A value is obtained? H of S is multiplied by S plus 1. After multiplication, substitute S is equal to minus 1. So what is H of S here? S minus 1 by S plus 1 into S plus, I'm sorry, S minus 2 and it is multiplied by S plus 1. After multiplication, substitute S is equal to minus 1. So here s plus 1, s plus 1 cancel, minus 1 and minus 1, minus 2 divided by minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, it is 2 by 3. This is the A value. 
and b value also we can do the b value also we can do same h of s is multiplied by s minus 2 after multiplication substitute s is equal to 2 this is the way of doing a and b values as per mathematical procedure so this h of s s minus 1 by s plus 1 s minus 2 into s minus 2 and s is equal to plus 2 we need to substitute s minus 2 s minus 2 cancel so 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2 plus 1 3 so this is the b value so a value 2 by 3 b value 1 by 3 let's write h of s now h of s is equal to a value what is the a value 2 by 3 b value 1 by 3 so 2 by 3 by s plus 1 2 by 3 by s plus 1 and b value 1 by 3 by s minus 2 okay s minus 2 so here we have two poles one is at minus 1 another one is at plus 2 one pole at 2 another pole at minus 1 okay for example <clears throat> now we can write uh, inverse laplace we can apply inverse laplace we can do now because you like 1 by s plus a 1 by s minus a format so for that we know inverse laplace inverse laplace transform we can do so by applying inverse laplace h of s will become h of t so 2 by 3 is a number we can write outside l inverse of 1 by s plus 1 1 by 3 we can write outside l inverse of means inverse laplace of inverse laplace of 1 by s minus 2 okay now case 1 what i am doing is ROC is real part of S is greater than 2. Real part of S is greater than 2. This is the ROC I am considering. This is the case 1. That means this minus 1 should be right side and this 2 also should be right side. Then only we can get the overall ROC real part of S is greater than 2. Two. Whenever we have two or more ROCs, we have to take intersection. So this is the intersection now. So minus one means this must be right sided, and it is also must be right sided. Right? Then we get the case one ROC. So what is the case one ROC? Two by three. So it is like one by s plus a. So we know Laplace transform of e power minus a t e of t 1 by s plus a and real part of s is greater than minus a so here in the place of a we have 1 so e power minus a t right side means into e of t plus 1 by 3 1 by s minus a so for 1 by s minus a e power a t e of t 1 by s minus a and roc is real part of s is greater than a so same format 1 by s minus 2 here a is equal to 2 so e power a t 2 t right side it means e of t right so this is the case one now here we have j omega axis between minus 1 and 2 we will be having j omega axis right we have j omega axis so what is the final roc greater than 2 this red color is the final roc so our roc is not included j omega axis included or not included not included greater than 2 but j omega axis is here origin so now roc not 
includes j omega axis or j omega axis is not included therefore not includes j omega axis therefore system is unstable system is not stable or unstable because greater than 2 roc this is the case one in case one we are getting system is unstable case two what is case two roc is minus one to two that is a case two consider case two roc is greater than minus one less than two so greater than minus one here and less than two okay I'm using color indication greater than minus 1 and less than 2. So minus 1 to 2. Minus 1 to 2. So how to write now answer h of t? So h of t is equal to 2 by 3. So L inverse of 1 by s plus 1. So this must be right sided means we need to multiply by u of t. So e power minus t e of t plus 1 by 3 and this 2 must be left side this 2 must be left side that means 1 by 3 e power 2t u of e power 2t u of minus t left sided this is left sided ok e power 2t u of minus t and here we get minus sign also so into minus minus also for left sided signal what is the logic is e of minus t is multiplied with the minus sign so i am taking that minus sign here okay so this is the now left sided signal now the final answer h of t is equal to 2 by 3 e power minus t e of t right 2 by 3 e power minus t e of t minus 1 by 3 e power 2 t e of minus t 1 by 3 e power 2 t e of minus t okay so the minus one this this one 1 by s plus 1 is right sided signal that is why it into u of t and uh, 1 by s minus 2 it must be a left sided signal then we have minus 1 to 2 we have roc final roc so it is uh, right sided it is a left sided signal right okay now in the second case the system is stable or not so the final roc includes j omega axis it includes included or not greater than minus 1 and less than 2 so j omega axis is included therefore system is stable your roc includes j omega axis includes g omega axis therefore so the given system is stable given system is stable right now third case third case also possible so case 3 case 3 <coughs> roc is in case 3 I am taking ROC is real part of S is less than minus 1 below minus 1 means you take the pole minus 1 take the pole 2 take the pole 2 so what is the final ROC less than minus 1 means this must be left sided 
and this 2 is also left sided so that we get final ROC less than minus 1 right or not here we have common ROC which is real part of S is less than minus 1 ok so what we have H of T now I am writing H of T 2 by 3 1 by S plus 1 it must be left sided Two by three, one by what we have? S plus one. Its inverse Laplace is e power minus two t. Left sided means e of minus t again minus. Next, the second one. One by s minus two, one by three. So plus one by three. It must be left sided. Means e power. 2t u of minus t again multiplied by minus sign then the correct answer it is for ROC real part of s is less than minus 1 so we can write it h of t is equal to h of t is equal to we can take minus common so 2 by 3 e power minus t u of minus t plus 1 by 3 e power 2t u of minus t. So now observe the j omega axis. In ROC, j omega axis is included or not? This is the j omega axis 0. This is the j omega axis. So actually ROC is less than minus 1 but 0 is after the j omega axis is after minus 1 so roc not includes j omega axis roc not included j omega axis therefore system is unstable system is unstable so in this problem we have covered stability and inverse Laplace transform both concepts are covered here system stability so system is stable if ROC includes j omega axis so here ROC is less than minus 1 so here minus 1 there is no j omega axis less than minus 1 that is why system is unstable okay so thank you students thank you keep watching